Chad, it's me. Will you please answer your phone? Are you coming around tonight or what? Look, I've got to go. Don't forget to call me, yeah? Wait. Was that Sean? What's it to you? You haven't said anything, have you? About you trying to stick your tongue down my throat? No, I haven't. Not yet. Please don't say anything, Sophie. It was a, a, a stupid one-off. I want to make a proper goal of it with Sean. I love her. <laughs> well, you've got a funny way of showing it, haven't you? The flowers. The for Ken and Deirdre's wedding anniversary. Sophie. Come. Let's get you home. really care about your friend. Of course you don't want to hurt her. Yeah, but keeping something important from someone, isn't that like lying? Well, I'm afraid that the whole area of truth-telling is, is like a minefield. I mean, for example, if someone's wearing an outfit that you think is hideous and they ask for your opinion, do you tell them? No. Because that'd be cruel. Yes, of course it would. Some say society would collapse within 24 hours if people told the unvarnished truth. I'm not sure it lasts that long. So what you're saying is, sometimes it's okay to lie? For personal gain or spite or mischief, no. No, of course not. But occasionally it can be a necessary evil. I've told white lies that have brought comfort to people and I've told the truth. And they've been devastated. Only you can know what's for the best. Sean! Walk up! What's the way you've behaved? Do you know, you're lucky you don't grind those chips into your face. Go on then. I deserve it. I mean it. There's lots of sauce on them and I'll make a proper mess. You're not getting around with that easy. Anyway, I'm due at Sophie's. Sean, listen, I love you. Oh. Just five minutes, please. Look, if it makes you feel any better, you can stab me with this small wooden fork. Oh. Ow! Just listen to your heart. I know you'll do the right thing. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Have a lovely party tonight, yeah? <laughs> Thanks. 